Good morning. Um, happy Veterans Day to the vets, and thank you. My daughter's a vet, so the day's always been special to me, but today especially so, which has nothing to do with my project. It just is Veterans Day. Um, I'm Crafty Candy, craftycandy.blogspot.com. If you haven't um, subscribed to the channel or been over and subscribed to the blog, I would really appreciate it. Today I have a design team project for um, Love Bug Design. They... Um, a couple weeks ago on the blog, I didn't do a video for it, a couple weeks ago on the blog I made an um, invitation. A woman at work is hosting a tea party for her mother-in-law's birthday, so I made the invitations for the party. Um, and they went over really well, which I'm proud of. Um, and so she asked me if I would make some favors also to go um, for the party. So this is what I came up with. She gave me the tea bags, which measure a just a little under three by four. So I took a really good stiff brown cardstock. I cut it. Um, the width on the tea bag was the three. And my glare. You don't know it's me if it's not a glare, right? Um, the width was just under three inches and the length just under four. So I cut the strips to be four inches wide by ten inches long. I scored at three and then at seven because I wanted a little peek out here. Like if I'd have scored it all the way up here, it wouldn't have peaked. Um, cut some Stampin' Up! paper to just under the size of, of that. I, I usually measure about an eighth of an inch so I have a little bit of the base showing. I used red line tape to hold it together because I, I wanted the sides to be um, secure but not too sticky and sometimes I find glue leaks in on me if I need an exact fit so I went with red line tape. Popped these in there, um, punched out a little thumb pull here, also gave a little bit more of a picture because they're kind of pretty tea bags. Um, and then I had this Your Tea Rific stamp from, I believe it's a Fiskars set with all kinds of tea and, and coffee treats. Of course, my girl Stampin' Up Punches. This is the reverse side of this striped paper. I liked the two together. And then for the bottom, um, I wrapped it around. This is that Mama's Mesh from Love Bug Creations. It's such a cool texture. I, I don't do a good job describing it. It's softer than it looks. It's unbelievably more flexible than it looks. Um, so I put that on the bottom and then just a real simple satin ribbon. A little bit thicker than I usually use on a card but I kind of wanted a statement. I made these rosettes um, and then to cover the little cardboard piece or cardboard cardstock punch I use to hold it together I put some paper flowers uh, and a button with some twine. I happen to have orange and white twine. Isn't that bizarre? Who has that? Um, and then I hot glued this on. I'm so sorry about the glare. I wish I knew what to do to make that better. Um, I hot glued this on so that it would kind of seep in, seep in through the mesh behind and really give a good um, adhesion to the base there. And then you see it hangs over the top lip. So that works as the closure to keep it together. So I'm really happy with how those turned out. I popped out 12 of those um, yesterday afternoon for uh, Lupe's tea party. Uh, Lovebugcreations.net. <clears throat> I'll put the link down here when I get back to the computer. Uh, and then Mondays are Mama's Mesh, Wednesdays are uh, Rumpel Ribbon, and Fridays are Anything Goes. So make sure you stop by the blog pretty regularly. There's always new inspiration going up. Have a great day. Thanks.